In what century did Mozart live? Uh, 16th. Yes or no, are there wild polar bears in Sweden? No. What artist is associated with the alter ego Ziggy Stardust? Uh, David Bowie. What is the U.S. president's official country residence called just north of Washington, D.C. in Maryland? Uh, I don't pass. What do you call the nose of a horse? Snow. What is the U.S. president's official country residence just north of Washington, D.C. in Maryland called? Uh, I don't know, District of Columbia. Time. So you think Washington, D.C. is Washington <laughs> District of Columbia, and then the country residence is Maryland District of Columbia? Yeah, it could be. Just asking. Yeah, I might have dropped the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie, hold on, my friend. Hold on. Okay, we'll wave Maitland up here. Maitland's making her way back in. Grabs your ear cans and is ready to go. What's your confidence level, Maitland? Eh, it's all right. Not great. Not great today. I asked Eddie what his confidence level in was in me reading the questions appropriately on a scale of one to ten. What is your ten's perfect, one's a disaster? Six. Okay, not as confident as Eddie. Probably more realistic. Are you ready to try? I'm ready. Maitland, your turn. Dumber than the show. Trivia begins in Wait, three. Hold on, hold on one second. Sorry. My my timer got all screwed up. Okay. I'm like, what did <laughs> I didn't I do? want it to start without it. Maitland, your turn begins. In three, two, one. In what century did Mozart live? The 18th. Yes or no? Are there wild polar bears in Sweden? No. What artist is associated with the alter ego Ziggy Stardust? David Bowie. What is the U.S. president's official country residence just north of Washington, D.C. in Maryland called? District of Columbia? What do you call the nose of a horse? Snout? Time. How do you feel about that? Mm -mm. I think I got one, two, okay. maybe? That's not very good. Mm -mm. I mean, maybe it is. Maybe. Might be enough. Let us welcome back Edward in Maine. Hello, Eddie. Hey. Let's score this game. Let's start at the bottom and work our way up. What do you call the nose of a horse? You guys agreed. Maitland said snout. Eddie said snout. You are absolutely right that you agreed, but you're wrong. It's called a muzzle. Oh, dang it. Muzzle. Muzzle. What, do you, what is the U.S. president's official country residence just north of Washington, D.C. in Maryland called? I thought this was really interesting because we gave Eddie a hard time and then Maitland also <laughs> said District of Columbia. So Washington District of Columbia is the city residence and then District of Columbia is, as we said, the country residence. Yeah, I didn't... Nope, they call it Camp David. Camp David, yeah. <laughs> Tied at zero. Now oh. the rubber will meet the road, maybe. What artist is associated with the alter ego Ziggy Stardust? Maitland said Dave Bowie. Eddie said Dave Bowie. Both correct, tied at one. That's a softball, right? At least got one. I mean, maybe not for everybody. Yeah. Yes or no, are there wild polar bears in Sweden? Maitland, you said no. Mm -hmm. Eddie, you said no. The answer is no. There are no wild polar bears in Sweden. Hey. Just Swedes. Wild Swedes. Tied at two. In what century did Mozart live? Wolfgang, Amadeus, Mozart. Amadeus. Amadeus, yeah, Amadeus. Yeah. Well, Amadeus. Rock me, Amadeus. Uh, Maitland said 18th. Eddie said the 16th century. What's your confidence level now, Maitland? There was disappointment in your eyes when you read my answer. There so was. Eddie, it. do you feel confident? Uh, no. One of you is correct. <laughs> Mozart lived from 1756 to 1791. The 1700s are the 18th century. Maitland wins 3-2. Yeah. 
<laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. I was not confident. You were not. At all. <laughs> Give us some can hands. <laughs> Eddie, thank you for listening and thanks for playing. Thank you. Derp, derp, derp. <laughs>